While we were admiring the tide line, a submerged lobster trap popped up in front of us and we didn't have enough time to avoid it, so we drifted in neutral anxiously, looking for it to show up behind us. If it doesn't, I'll have to pop in and visually inspect. the dinghy to the right you see uh, it's like barely surfacing it's like white I think that was probably it because I couldn't so I see the red one and then you see something else so red is by the dinghy and then if you go towards the uh, go towards like your one o'clock I think that's it all right it's just like barely surfaced so it's hard to see
you can see, quite a bit more rolling. We just made our turn towards uh, Fort Jefferson. We came quite a ways offshore to avoid all the lobster traps. So um, we're in about uh, 200 feet of water. We got things sliding. 18 nautical miles to the anchorage. So what we're probably gonna do is we're gonna stretch out the engines, blow them out and make this uh, final stretch a little bit more comfortable. We'll blow them out for about 30, 40 minutes and then you know we'll pretty much be making the entrance into the, the channel in the dry tortugas. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get rolling like these waves are. Officially shut down the engines, got the hook set here, Burn Key Harbor and the dry tortugas. It's official, we made it. There's only one bottle of rum on the floor this time. <laughs> I picked it up. That's progress. The banana rum fell out and that little thing was latched. And it was still latched when I found it open. It was, it was, it was latched? Really confused, yeah. Yeah, whatever. If that's the worst thing that happens, then it's a good trip. It's just a sign. We should have some banana rum. All right. Kitty cats. Come check it out, Turbs. You're in the dry tortugas. Get it to the port to get. 
get checked in. You have to check in before doing any exploring in the dry tortugas. There wasn't a ranger present at the time, but there is a self-check-in room with the necessary forms, fee document slips, and tons of pamphlets for information about the park. a sign that says dinghies. That sign should say death to dinghies because there's coal heads that are sure to mess up your prop and your dinghy bottom. If you continue past the welcome center, you'll see another beach with a sign that says dinghies and seaplanes. This is the preferred landing spot. We figure since we were on land, we might as well head to the top of the port and catch a sunset. Yeah, right, you don't get scallops. 38. You already ate. I was there. I was there when you ate. Turbo was there too. 